Hello everyone, my name is Mayalkar, and welcome back to uh, another episode, uh, well, to episode number 5, actually, of my uh, playthrough on Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga. So, last time. What did we do last time? Last time we um, were saved by Stefan, the thief, and Diana, the paladin. Uh, they broke us out of jail, and we learned that we were kept there by the uh, followers of Xanatus, which is the evil god. And that we may be a Nephilim, which is the reincarnation of one of the heroes that centuries ago defeated the evil god. Just that. And uh, now we are, we're trying to make our way back to the continent, because we're, as we could see on the map, we're not quite on the continent anymore. anymore. Uh, we're kind of on an, an island up the northwest. Um, so we're trying to make our way back to the continent. We need to get to Fort Naxos. Naxos? No, we need, no, no, no. We need to make it to Port Jeros, or Jeras, or something. Um, in order to take a boat, uh, but on the way we are getting attacked, and that is what we will have to deal with now. At the end of the uh, episode, I did some organization of the army and all that, and uh, there's not much more that I can do right now, and I just thought about something which could explain the reason why I was not able to make a new squad, which is uh, units level one. Uh, I need a unit that is level, like the second level of unit, in order to make it a leader. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna remove a unit. I'm gonna remove this unit. Then I'm gonna go here and remove this unit. Um, alright, oh wait, I want to give to this unit the one I just removed from the other squad, like this. And now I want to form a new squad using this unit as a leader, yes. Um, and to this unit I want to give a dragon. And an archer. I can't. Because uh, the leadership of that unit is not good enough. But what if? You know, no, I'm gonna wait. I'm only gonna have a dragon, I guess. And I'm gonna give to these the archer with 15 magic. Um. Do we have another squad that could do with only 33? Yes, this one. So you know what? I think I'm gonna give these guys... Um, ...to this unit. And the dragon is gonna go to the other one. So, add... I don't remember which one was which. I'm gonna give... Give her the two earth ones. Uh, and this one will have the dragon and another archer. Good. So all of my units are placed. And I have some squads that I can start training in order to make better units as fast as possible. Hello in the chat. I have been well, thank you for asking. Uh, I hope that you are also doing well tonight. Alright, so I'm done with organizing. I'm going to save here. Uh, I don't feel safe about trying the arena yet because I don't have uh, all of my good units, so I'm going to start this mission first. 
to do this mission and then later uh, I'll care about Tide Reavers the mark of the mark is hiding out at Granheim Abbey and there's a mountain of gold waiting to reward his bounty I don't care if you burn the place to ashes I want Pickle's pretty little blue head how can you take it seriously when your name is Pickle? Oh, Abigail is a unit. She was not in the unit selection or unit thing. Uh, okay, I obviously want Diana. Oh, that's new. Uh, I do, I do see that. I did see that there were there was a lot of uh, upgrades in the last two months. So, you know. I'm gonna move Pickles there. Uh, Abigail, I'm gonna move you there because you are pretty defensive as a unit. Uh, I'll take Stefan and then I can have two more units. I want Freya because I want to... Um, uh, yeah, I want Freya because I want this uh, one unit to gain some... Um, skill points and I'll want Yasmin because I want to train to start training this dragon uh, Pickles there and Yasmin here that's a lot of enemy units what are what, is, what are my mission objectives Pickles okay I get defeated if Pickles is defeated or if the enemy captures Granheim Abbey, so I will need to have someone sticking back to protect it. Uh, victory if I seize Fort Naxos. I have to find and rescue a dragon child. 13 turns. Uh, I'm never gonna be doing the turns of the turns objectives because it's a bit risky, so I'm pretty much going to fail them all all the time. Uh, the target objectives captured, I have three objectives to capture and five squads to neutralize. So there's an objective here, there's an objective here. Uh, and I guess that's an objective? I guess. Uh, chests. There's a thief. Okay. You know, I think having a defensive position on the bridges is gonna be the best move at first. With my defen my most defensive units. This unit is gonna be a bit useless. Um, but I'm gonna use it to seize, I guess, so that they can get, still get some points and leaderships. This unit is also gonna be more or less useless. And Stefan has two archers, at least. Alright. Let's begin mission. I'm glad to know that you're doing well. Now. What are your ranges? Oof, you go far. You too. You as well. They all reach that bridge. Do I have a single unit that can reach that bridge? No. I don't. I must stay strong. Okay, what is your range? Ooh. Jeez, they're making it easy. Uh, you're the one that goes the furthest, so here. And this one can shoot up to here. Uh, so on the first turn, I don't want any unit to get there. So all of this... Uh, is a no. Okay. I must be brave. Abigail, I want you. My Actually, I want you to go to the temple to and to wait. Repent before the uh, I want you to come and wait here. The battle lies before. Me. Okay. Uh, I want you, Pickles, to come and wait here. Stefan, here. 
Uh, free, I'm gonna try to get you close. And that's hoping that there's not a special enemy unit, like flying unit, that will spawn and come and capture. Which I don't think. It's not the kind of game that does that. <laughs> I think. As expected. They're not making it easy for me. I can... Oh! They didn't move! So I can have her be here and him be here. Or actually the Acolytes are the most defensive units, so her be here and her here. But I want Abigail to go towards this keep. The most risky position is this one here, and Diana is the most defensive unit. Now, if I could have uh, ranged attacks... Oof. Um, actually, if I can, potentially... Target leader... There are four. I have what? A dragon, a priestess, and an archer. Yeah, no, that's not gonna do it. A paladin never surrenders. Abby. No, no, not Abby. Um, you. Target the leader. Target this leader. That's great. Oh, I didn't mean to kill them, <laughs> but thanks Diana, I guess. That fixes one of my problems. Ready. Now Pickles is going to be in the risky spot if I do that. Still, I'm going to risk it. Attack. If I attack aggressive, I deal more damage, but I also take more damage until the end of the player phase, which I don't want. If I go cautious, I will spread the damage. I will deal less damage, but I will take less damage until the end. You know, I think I still want to focus on the leader. Because if I can have their morale get low, then I can uh, spare them. When you spare... Uh, when you spare the enemies, or when you force them to surrender, you get some stars. I don't remember what is the name of that resource, um, but it's, it is a good thing to have more stars. So I want to spare as many enemies as I can uh, when the opportunity presents itself. I also don't want to lose my units, so if I end up killing some of them, it's okay. I don't mind. But for now, let's go with that. Oof. They almost killed my mage. That was scary. And because that was a bit Are too scary for me, uh, Abigail, you're coming here. Abigail, you're going to attack this one. No, not normal attack. I want to target leader. Why I'm targeting leader is because uh, killing a leader deal deals a lot of uh, morale damage. And it's when the morale is low that you can uh, sur make the enemy surrender. So defeating the leader and then you see their morale is now shattered. So if I add a unit that could go to it, I could uh, make them surrender. Oh, now I see the level of the unit. All of my units are level 6. And they are 7. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I seem to be doing fine enough. Now, what are their, their ranges? Oh, right. Ooh, that's bad. Oh, no. What did I do? Uh, I want to kill them. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? I am not gonna be able coming. to.
And they are archers. Oh, I just screwed myself, didn't I? Well, we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. But that was bad. Uh, I don't think doing anything with any of these is going to be good. So I'll see what they do. I'm afraid I might lose some unit here. Okay, they're using some archers. Yeah, I was afraid they'd do something like that. She's on die. Okay. At least they didn't die. Uh, this one is going to die, most likely, which means I won't be able to spare him. But thanks for allowing me to heal. That is good for me. Obviously not for you, but... Oh well. You're stupid. What can I do? Okay. I want Abigail to be going down. Abigail, can you kill this unit? Or not kill this unit, but at least their leader. Yes. Now, l let one of them live. Perfect. Not perfect. But fine enough. Like I said, if I end up killing some of them, well, you know. The, that's the kind of thing that happens. Um, Diana. Diana, I want you to go this way. What are their reach? They can reach. They can reach. But they can reach all the way here. So if I let him come to me... And Pickles can deal with him. And then... Stefan is gonna go up there. You know what? You will heal. This one. Uh, Pickles, you're gonna come here and homework. attack their leader. Oh, good. Rangers are scary. The first attack of a ranger, when they are attacking, uh, pierces armor. So I don't like them. And they are... Rangers too, and so are they. I still think it's better to let them come to me, so, uh, Diana. I love this part. Where am I needed? Come all the way here. Stefan, come here. Uh, and you, Freya, will go word there as well. Alright, that should do it. I don't mind, you're just one. I'm healing more than you're dealing damage to me. Okay. Ooh, that's a blow. That is good. As long as my units don't die, I can deal with that. Brave. 
All right, they surrendered. I must stay strong. They surrendered. Now, if I want to bait these, they reach there and there. They can go all the way at, at those two spots, and they can go at the same spots. So if I move Diana here, only one of them. No, two of them are the two of them are going to be able to attack, no matter where I put her. Uh, but they only attack with the archers, so it won't be doing that much damage. A paladin never surrenders. Donar be with us. Yeah, I want you to force surrender. Great. And then I want you to come and capture this, so that you can get get some experience and leadership. Oh, sorry. And you, you will something. have to wait here. Great. It is happening slowly, but it is happening. Don't kill her, please. Oh, nice. So I didn't do a lot of damage, but I also didn't die, which is the most important. Uh, okay, he's not going to move. So I have up to this before they can do anything. Pickles, you might want to go and help over here. Target their leader. Amazing. So as you can see, when the rogues are on the defensive, they cannot attack the back line. So the one good thing to do with rogues is to attack them first and not let them uh, get to you Repent first. Before the righteous. Uh, Diana, I want you to attack this unit. Boom. And the boats still have one, which means I can force them to surrender. with these two. Bet you didn't see this one coming. What's your range? Oh wow, you're not moving, okay. I love this part. There we go. And that's good on the wall. My friends are uh, counting. And I have up to yeah. Okay. So I, I can, can go all the way here. Abigail, do you need to heal yourself? Yes. Well, not yourself, specifically, your team. Heal them. And uh yes man. Oh I just remembered why Abigail was not in the team uh organ in the army organization stream. You'll see. It's a good reason. So that is it. Now this is the kind of moment I definitely want to quick save and to save scum is if needed. Because this is going to be scary. Ooh, this is going to be scary. You know, I think I'll take one more turn, just to be sure that. Getting real thirsty here. Uh, so he goes. Okay. Oh, sorry. Did you need something? Stefan, you can wait. You can seize that. Where am I needed? You can come this way. Ready. Uh, 
Does anyone is in big need of healing? No. For my people, for my homeland. So we can wait. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna take one more turn, just so that I can be efficient here. So I guess this is the turn where I want to quick save. I must stay strong. It doesn't reach. A paladin never she does. surrenders. Now what would make me happy, um, Diana, is if you could wipe out this unit. I know I usually say don't, but please do. No extra attack. It's okay. I might be able to finish them with her. Go aggressive. Oh no. 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 Oh well, it's gonna take one more turn, I guess. Um. The battle lies before me. Pickles, you can go all the way here and wait, and you can start moving down. And Stefan, you can come here and attack. Target their leader and try to kill them. Okay, that is good. That is less good. Because Stefan doesn't actually have a healer. Nice. Okay, that is amazingly good. <laughs> Thank you for surviving, little rogue. Stefan is gonna go get the loot. I'm gonna end my turn. I still keep my quick save, but if I want to go back, I want to redo the whole turn. What were you expecting to do? I mean, apart from getting killed like that. Like an idiot. Oh, and I got a dragon scale armor. Oh, nice stars. Look, a baby dragon. Oh, what a sweet thing. Sweet thing? Yes, it's scared too. Well, what are you doing here, dear dragon? Um, Tide Reavers were probably looking to sell it. The grown ups uh, the grown ups go for a king's ransom, you know. No surprise considering the devastation they can bring. Sister Diana uh, so, sorry. Sister Diana, please allow me to care for this dragon. Of course, Sister Abigail. This dragon is a lucky one to have you. Oh, my stars. That's quite a love bite. A little softer next time? Maybe I shall call you... Nibbler. And there we go. That's what I was... That's what I didn't want to happen. And the reason why I might want to go back and redo the turn... Although, because now they're stuck there, and that I lived, I'll be able to uh, force surrender them, and then position... Problem is... I can only force surrender them with Diana, unless I move Diana, but then Diana cannot take the place. So if I force surrender them with Diana... Or if I move Diana and force surrender them with the other one, so that the other one gets the experience, uh, then I can move Abigail in place. Stefan. Get the treasure. Freya. And Yasmin. Okay.
Hmm. Unless I kill them. No, you know what? I'm gonna eel. Yeah, it w it was a good call. Yes, men. Force surrender these. Ooh, immortal spirit. And then Abigail. I want you to attack the target leader. Uh, the target, the squad leader. And yes, Abigail now as a dragon on our team. Alright, what is your range? You can reach. You are not moving. Uh, Pickles. I'll wait here, because Abigail has defensive units and a dragon. For my people! For my homeland! So I want her to get attacked, if anything. And you can come here. Now that's what I wanted. I also remind you, because it's been a while, that when you're on a keep or a fort, uh, you have more defense and increased um, arrow power when you're firing arrows. Well, we're not, so. But still, more defense. Now, speaking of firing arrows, I want to... I won't really have a choice. I'm gonna move Abigail. And I'm going to force surrender them. Where am I And then I'm gonna move my uh units closer. Now you may be wondering why I'm not using the small units that I made. They would most likely be gaining experience faster. That is true. Um but it would also die a lot more easily, so I'm making the choice of not putting them on the front line to save their life, even if it means that they are getting less experience. At some point I'll have enough hero characters that it won't even matter. Okay, what is your range? 2, 2, 2. Good. I don't have archers anyway. A never so, Diana, I want you here. I'm gonna posi position my the units before. before I'm doing anything. They all have an okay amount of health. My friends uh, are Abigail, I want you to get as close as possible. Uh, yes, but we can come to you. And Freya over here. Uh, Stefan, well, start making your way back. The risk with using Stefan to open the chests like that is uh, that he's gonna miss on the action, but with his wounded uh, rogue, I'd rather keep him out of arm's way anyway. I can do this. Alright, I'm ready to start my offensive. Abigail, you're my newest unit. Well, one of my newest units, so I want you to attack first. And, uh, I don't know, try to destroy them. Their morale, more than anything. Because I want to go and uh, spare them. Well, <laughs> thank you for leaving one of them alive, at least. Uh, so I'm gonna spare with Yasmin. Then I want Pickles. Okay, I want Pickles to be attacking this unit. Perfect. Uh, 
and I want you to go and spare them. Diana. That's gonna be a I tough one. Card. And I'm on, I don't have ranged units, and even if I did. So I'm... I guess... Abigail is gonna be my most... efficient unit Repent here. Uh, so... you... And then it's safe scum time. No, I don't want to end turn, thank you. I want to go to system, I want to quick save. Please, Abigail, don't I die. Not fail. If I target leader, the leader is the one I'm scared of. Do I have a chance to kill him? Should I go cautious and so that I take less damage? You know what? I'm gonna try to go cautious. But will it apply until the start of next player phase? Does it apply during the fight? If it doesn't apply during the fight, then it doesn't matter. I'm gonna try. I save scummed. I'm gonna try. Okay, I think it does apply during the fight, because that unit would be dead. Uh, it's still... Oh, no, he's attacking a different one. Okay. That is great. That is great. Diana, I need you to heal. This unit. Um, for my people, Pickles, for I want you to right. heal this unit. Uh, this unit. How many crossbows do you have left? Only two. Getting real thirsty here. She doesn't have any heal left. That's bad. Okay, we'll see if he's most likely gonna aggro, uh, aggro on Freya. I'm going to hope that he doesn't kill any of them. And if he does, it's not that big of a deal. If he does kill one of them, after that I kill them, and before I seize the fort, I'm gonna bring Freya all the way back to the Granheim Temple to revive whichever unit died. Uh, that's gonna take a lot of turns, but I think I'm already... Oh no, I'm in the turn... the turn... the target turns. If... If he does not kill any unit, I can finish in the uh, number of target turns. If he does kill a unit, it costs less to go and revive a unit rather than um, buy a new one after the mission, so... Here's to hoping. Yes, I know it's not all of my squads that moved, but the squad that is left doesn't have anything to do. As expected. Great. Alright, I'm gonna finish this turn. Now, the uh, leader has a I heavy armor, which means that magic and dragon fire is uh, what will do the most damage to it. So I'm going to attack with Abigail again, but I'm going aggressive. I will... Quick save. Uh, uh, because if it doesn't work on, uh, with the aggressive, I'm gonna go... Uh, I'm gonna try again with the um, target leader. But it should do something. Yeah, as you can see, there's a lot more damage. Alrighty. And 
and I want to seize with either Freya or Yasmin. Uh, I guess we're gonna go with Freya. My faction ranked up! Oh, the stars are faction experience, right. Objectives captured, 3 on 3. Turns taken, 13 out of 13. Key squads neutralized, 5 on 5. I did rescue the dragon child, I surrendered a lot of enemies, um, which gives me an extra 600 gold and 11 stars, and I had a rank S for 75 stars. That is great. That is very great. I couldn't have done better. Now it's time for lore. Still alive, huh? Hey, scumbag. I'm talking to you. Eh, I bet you're a way, traitor. You keep not talking and I'll keep pummeling you. <laughs> you know, I'm just doing my job. If you starve to death down here, it don't matter to me. It don't matter much to me. Sleep tight, prisoner. Wow, that guard is a an asshole. <laughs> like, if you're just doing your job, you don't have to be so mean about it. What the? You can't come down here. I, I think there's no guard anymore. Barbaric. How long have they let you languish and languish and languish? Languish in here. Do not worry, my boy. I know what did it to you. We won't let them get away with it. Who are you? Edmund Pendergast, a financier. I hope you've heard the name. Yeah, you've got some money, they say. So, what? So what? Do I matter to a man like you? Just know that I am a friend, and frankly, you could use one right now. You'll know what you need to know in time. You two, get him out of those chains. I don't know why I don't trust this man. <laughs> like, yeah, okay, he's freeing our friend, but is he really trustable? <laughs> I don't know. A bit dramatic. With that whole end of the world speech, don't you think? Pickles is not familiar with the temple's ways. It may be just what he needed to hear. You're really serious about this stuff, aren't you? Just as the cult was deliberate in finding the Nephilim, so too must the paladins be when countering their actions. Must be easy to think everything and anything if it happens for a reason. As though the fate of all reality is set in stone, so why bother saying out to change it? Mm. There are some things I would change, Stefan. The life of a warrior is difficult. The comforts of home call out to me. Huh, little Alex, huh? Yeah, but the kid really misses you. Yes. But my son deserves a better world to inherit. If Xanatos is returning to our world, I must remain out there, fighting against fate, inevitable as though it may be. Yeah, I hear ya. He's a good kid. Wish I had something as precious as Alex is to you. Huh. My Alex worships you. You're practically his own father. <laughs> no kidding? I thought she was, like, falling for some reason. Don't stand that close to the edge like that. You're gonna fall, lady. You've got a heavy armor. You're not, you're, you're not gonna be able to get up if you fall. 
can you play that tune he likes so much? I have grown very fond of it as well. Oh, just gonna make you miss home even more. That was pretty music. Tide Reavers, the most infamous outlaws the world has ever known. Their first army of mercenaries failed to capture Pickles, but it is clear that they will be back. For now, Pickles' army sets up operations from Fort Naxos. Naxos? It is it is only a few days trip to Port Yenos, or Genos, or Genos, or Genos, something, from here. But Pickle's army prepares for the Wrath of the Tide Weaver army, commanded by the Master Assassin, Kuroda. Supports! Pickles and Diana! Pickles. You honor me with your presence. I have so many questions for you, Diana. Is your purpose unclear? It's about the temple. Uh, what's the deal with the priestesses and the other temple devo dev devotees? The Sisterhood of Mercy are a separate holy order. The Sisterhood of Justice and the male paladins take their direction from me. And I am second in command to Grandmaster Oxley. Righto. What's this bond you have with Adelia? She is tasked with taking care of my son and providing support for me in addition to her duties to the Sisterhood of Mercy. It was Adelia who crafted me this ruby amulet to remind me of home. A small comfort ever since I was sanctioned for war. Wait, you were sanctioned? All female potentials must bear at least one child before they are put in arm's way. After Alex was born, I began my paladin training. Makes sense, I guess. So, who's Alex's father? He was a devout, a devout man who sacrificed much and became one of the temple's most beloved. He and I have lost contact. I try not to let it become a part of my thoughts. Oh, I'm sorry, um, probably too personal. It matters not. The tem if the temple deems it so, it shall be so. Alex has my whole heart, and I now have my duty as a mother to a future temple devotee. So, when do you get to, you know, enjoy life? Hmm. Consider it, consider it is far more enjoyable for a paladin to live as a warrior, ready to destroy evil in any form it takes. By that point of view, my life is enjoyable beyond description. Fascinating, your way of life is sort of refreshing to see. At least, there's some semblance of order in this crazy world. Your open mind and open heart are refreshing to me. Please, do not hesitate to share your company with me again. Count on it. So those little changes of color is basically a change in their relationship. You see, they became friends. So blue means friends. Alright, uh, tech tree. I do have some tech points to spend, and I want to spend them as much as possible in this second branch, because I want this start with plus three levels and full mastery of tier one classes that is huge uh more arrows from the archers yes thank you um cavalry goes further why not just because i need to 
significant uh, cavalry squads now, de now deal significant morale damage when attacking with a charge attack, which is when they have moved six tiles. Oh, they don't move further, they do the charge attack faster. Okay. And they do more morale damage when they do, that's good. Polarm units now grant bonus attack and defense versus melee to any adjacent unit, which is also quite good. So let's go. Uh, marketplace. Recruit? I don't know. Uh, organize army first. Squad operation. Now. I did a thing in my previous uh, playthrough that I started, and I'm gonna do the same thing, because it was good. Remove unit. I'm taking you out. Uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. I'm gonna take those out for now. Uh, no, not add unit. Yasmin, I'm gonna remove a unit to you. And I'm gonna give the other dragon to you. Now, they take 10 each. So I'm missing one point. Dang it. Uh, do, you ha do I have an artifact that will allow me to reduce... The amount of capacity, no. Uh, I might be able to buy one, so I'm gonna go to the marketplace and see the trader. Affinity Earth, Donari Staff, 10% uh, out of combat healing power. That could be good. I'm gonna buy it for maybe later. Iron, I'm gonna take it. Uh, Bowman Ship, any archery attacks from this unit will ignore the penalty for firing at wall at walls or woods. From 2 or plus range. That is good too. Aura Weave Cloak. More magic. Uh, trade Beacon. When an ally is healed, this unit is also healed for 25% of the effect. That is good. Salmon of Elf. I'm taking that. Apprentice Spellbook. Magic and skill, but minus strength and armor. Um... I think I'm not going to take it. Uh, do I'm, I want to trade. Uh, I'm going to see actually the recruits here. Uh, I have a polearm. He has a mercenary trade. They all have the mercenary trade. That one is a centurion. That's a tier 3 unit, I think. That's a tier 2 unit. That's a tier 3. But it has the mercenary trait, which make, which means if it's not a leader of a squad, then it's gonna cost more. But it has disarm. Unit has a chance based on skill to prevent its primary target from counter-attacking in the same battle. Um, and Polarm Warrior increases attack versus cavalry units. But I could make him a leader in one of the squads, and he has only 37 leadership. This one has 44 leadership, that's good. And as the warrior's hubris, unit gains resistance to magician and dragon attacks as strength increases. Uh, as good strength, good armor, good weapon damage. I mean, less than this one, obviously, but more leadership, which is good. Um, this one has... Not good leadership. Okay, I'm gonna take this unit. And I'm going to organize my army. But first, I want to see what classes can they become. Uh, I want you to be a priestess. Thank you. I need one gem. I have one. Um, this one can become an apprentice, which is what I wanted. Promote. And now I want to... Rem I might want to remove him. Uh, you still don't have enough to add another apprentice, unfortunately. But at some point soon. Um, sorry. I wanted to see Freya. Can your unit... No. The skill still didn't go up. Okay. 
Abigail. Abigail. I'm going to disband this squad. Not this one? Or maybe this one. How much leadership do you have? Only 33. 40. 42. Okay. So I want to disband this squad. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, so, it's just a little... Uh, it's gonna cost just a little bit too much to have two dragons here. So I'm gonna bring back the Acolyte. And... An Archer? Which one? They all cause the same. This one has a higher uh, threat level, so I'm gonna bring this one in. Uh, Alright. This unit, I'm gonna add you. Like this. But I might want to have a stronger healing unit if I'm bringing these. So you have 41 leadership, you have 33, so I'm gonna put you. Alright, so that's uh, Freya's squad. Uh, for now, do I want to keep Adrian's squad? I don't know, maybe. I'm gonna form a new squad. I want you to be the leader. Uh, obviously you'll be in front. I need one healing unit. And I'm gonna add... Archers. You're gonna have the, the other dragon, and you can still have some units. Uh, I have a load of archers, I have some acolytes a lot. Uh, what do I want to work towards? If I look at the tutorials. So I have some soldiers. Uh, I have some spearmen, which are with the rest of my groups that I don't have with me yet. Cavalier, scout, skirmisher. Skirmisher? I might want to work on that, maybe? And the bowman can become scout, orsbow, skirmisher. And what does the skirmisher does? Rangers way under gunner or siege cannon. So mostly for ranger. Which I'm going to at some point have. I don't think I need that main, many units actually. If I want to keep Yasmin. The one I might not want to keep is Adrian. So they have 42, 44. Uh, she has 41. And he had 40 only. Okay. So squad operations. Yasmin, I'm gonna add Adrian to your squad. And then you have not enough for anyone else. So that's gonna be a unit for now. Dragon scale armored, okay. Acolyte's mace, Acolyte's mace. Uh, Abigail, you want an artifact that uh, um, affects magic if possible. 
The Guerrilla Bow gives Strength and Hit Rate. I might want that to give that to um, Stefan. Magic and Out of Healing, uh, Out of Combat Healing Power. Good for Abigail. William, William, you have bows. So maybe you want that actually. Uh, you. Strength, armor, and minus damage taken from dragons. Why not? Now I have a settlement of health, so I can increase the health of one of my units. What is your health? 183? 164, 181, 139, 92. And my other mage, what is their elf? 121. I think I'm gonna use it on this one. Because this unit almost died a few times already. Get the summon of elf. Now, Medal of Valor, of Valor. Increase a unit's leadership by 3, up to 50, by 2, up to 60, by 1, up to 70, and cannot be used if the unit already has 70 or more. I look, okay, so my leader's leadership. I wanted you to have just a bit more leadership. It's at 59, so it's going to be a plus 2. Uh, how much... Do you need you just need one more and I can give you another mage which would be great so I'm gonna do it use item medal of valor now the leadership is 61 also cold-blooded maybe no or beacon gets healed whenever an ally is healed on the main character that seems Good. Oh, what was the immortal spirit? Once per chapter, this unit will survive an enemy volley that would otherwise be fatal. Okay, I'm gonna give it to someone else. But now I want to go here and remove a unit. Yes. And then I want to add this unit here. I want to move some units around. No. Thank you. Can you... Thank you. Like this. Jeez, that was difficult for nothing. And you want to get your second healer back. And I have two addi additional archers that I can't really do anything with. You almost have enough to add one more unit, but yeah, I know. Barely not to have. 46 and 49, 41 and 44, 42 and 42. Yeah, they're all good. Um, did I give you a trait? I did, I gave you pre precision. Uh, did I give you a trait? No. I think cold blooded could be good. Yeah, you could be, you're gonna be a cold blooded paladin. Uh, Abigail. You're gonna be immortal. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Let's save. Here.
Uh, and this is more or less... Uh, yeah, I, I think this is gonna be an episode. So, I thank you all for watching on YouTube. I hope that you enjoyed. And I wish you a good, uh, good evening, a good day or a good night, depending on when you're watching that video. And I'll see you soon for another episode of Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga. Alright, bye guys. <laughs>